Hello everyone, welcome to another Mystical Geography. So, we're having a quick uh, run through of meanders and oxbow lakes. And so, first of all, I definitely want to say, credit where credit's due, the AQA book, page 71, is absolutely phenomenal for this kind of stuff. So I really, really do recommend that your first port of call is having a look there. Everyone in the year group has now got one. So just uh, really start there. Okay, but let's have a quick look then. So physical geography is all about simplifying the complex. Okay, that's why I love it. That's why I'm a physical geographer. We're here to simplify the complex. So let's have a go at simplifying our complex uh, things. So we're going to specifically have a look at Oxbow Lakes. And I'm going to try and break it down into three key steps. Okay, so Oxbow Lakes. And those who study with me know that I call them one, two, threes. Okay, what is our simple one, two, threes that we can break it down at? Okay, so let's start off at number one. Is that when we have an meander, which is, looks like this. Okay, we have a meander that looks like that. Bob, bob, bob. The first thing that happens is that we get erosion on the outside of the bend here and get erosion here, okay? So that means that those two get closer. So number one, erosion on the outside of the bend. causes them to get closer, okay, and this forms a little bit of land here which is called the neck, okay, this forms the neck, so there's our first thing, okay, number one, number two, eventually, this breaks through, okay, and it forms this odd kind of shape like this, and there's a little bit of land here as well. So next is the river breaks through, and it often does that during a flood. Okay, and it moves along its shortest course now. Right, so you've got what it means by the shortest course is basically it's going to start flowing through here instead. But this still fills up, okay? So the next thing, the final thing that happens, our one, two, three, is this, right? So our, we now have depositional processes taking place and our lake is formed, our oxbow lake, so that's our oxbow, and this is the new path of the river. Okay, new path, path of the river, and so we have deposition, that's happening just here, and just here. We have little beaches just there, in fact. Deposition cuts off the meander forming an oxbow lake. Okay? And you can see them all around the world. The best, best ones are in places like the uh, Amazon. They're absolutely incredible. Right? They even like, form their own little ecosystems, that kind of thing. It's so, so cool. Um, okay, so remember that we have pr processes here of erosion along here, which then start to eventually migrate into kind of deposition along here. Right. It's quite an interesting landform because you see that change from erosion to deposition. Okay, um, I'll do a little one on meanders, but Oxbow Lake Formation, that's our simple one, two, three. If you can regurgitate that in your exam, all right, our one, two, three, always simplify the complex in physical geography, then you'll get the marks that you, uh, that you want, okay? 
uh, any little things that you might want to talk about as well. Remember those processes of erosion, hydraulic action, abrasion, attrition, solution, all of those processes are occurring in here. And if you can talk about those, especially things like abrasion and attrition during these early stages, then I think that would be a really powerful thing to do, knocking on and eroding those banks. All right, let us know if you have any questions in the uh, comments below. But apart from that, really, really, for those physical processes, definitely recommend you pick up this book. What?